Attributes, as we discussed last week, represent the building block of customer choice. Segmentation, on the other hand, is the fundamental building block of deciding how we approach the market, where we play, to whom we deliver the products, how we prioritize the different groups of customers that are available, and what we say to each of those segments. Today we're going to be covering segmentation really in two steps. The first step is going to be all about the intuition. What is it? Why does it make sense? Where does it come from? Are there examples we might look at, and there will be, examples that we can use to illustrate what the purpose and ultimately the goal of segmentation looks like in the marketplace. From there, the second step of what we'll do today, we'll be talking about process. The process of segmentation will take you through very specific steps. The steps will be very similar in consumer markets as in B2B markets, but the process of actually implementing segmentation will be different, and we'll walk you through both of them. By the time we're complete with this week, the objective will be to have a set of tools, processes in place so that when you walk away and you would like to do this on your own, perhaps with a team at work or at some future state, you have everything in place you need to think about segmentation and deliver some of that for your team moving forward.